And I've got one more for you, which is, um, I was thinking about this one, the, the man with the big beard. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm completely, I'm, I'm religious-wise, religion-wise, I'm, I'm uh, what's the word? Absolutely uneducated, really. I'm not particularly religious. But I thought about people with big beards. I got, got thinking about people with big beards, not just Councillor Patrick Johnson, but people in general with big beards. <laughs> and um, there's a guy a couple of streets away from me. Oh, I won't say where I live exactly. Janet knows. Um, and he has a big beard, and he seems very happy, and he walks around in bare feet all day, all times of the year, and he seems fine, you know, he seems fine. And I was kind of thinking about that. Oh no, you don't know who it is, do you? No, that's okay, I hope you don't. No, no, it's not, no, I don't know who that is. And so I was thinking about people with big beards who seem very happy with life, you know. Probably your neighbor, Rasputin. Yeah. It is Rasputin, yes, Rasputin. actually, yes. Moses. Moses. <laughs> So it's based on that picture. Oh. Well, it's about people with big beards. Yeah. Just said it already, didn't I? The man with the big beard. <clears throat> he lives in the next street, in the obligatory run-down house you can find anywhere, with the abandoned car, post-apocalyptic vegetable patch, <laughs> weed-defeated concrete, <laughs> grubby plastic over the windows to keep in heat. He does not appear as victim, defeated. It's possible that he has chosen that he will be this way. All year round, you see him in bare feet, in a delicate tango along the sidewalk, in a triangle of trade between his house, the supermarket, the bottle depot. Then there is the beard itself, voluptuous, expansive, and acreage. It's probably a big F you to the world, to me, with my commuter sensibility, fear of being pension free. He could hide anything inside that hair. Hengat's wife, abandoned kids, a past, life, a past life prison stay. Yet I like to think it keeps him company, carries him his life, in the way our computers, gadgets never can. Maybe he strokes it late at night, talks to it, offers it milk, knows that it has it all inside, the universe, creation, truth, all there under his grooming fingertips. Thank you. <laughs>